Gonna go back in time. Back in time. Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Joel. Dylan. And welcome to yet another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition, our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our 100-point scoring system. And in this episode, we're going to review Old Fitzgerald, Old Fitz. and Bond, 14 year. Yes. Wait, didn't we do this before? <laughs> and there goes my pen. Um, well, we cracked into this during a live broadcast, and now we're going to actually subject it to our scoring system and see how it ends up uh, scoring. Um, this is the 14-year-old iteration of this, and oh my gosh, guys, what an amazing bottle. This is just one of the best-looking bottles that exists out there, this decanter. Do you think this could survive a drop-off of a building? Yes. Oh, that's a tough one. With my packaging. The thing is, if it falls like this, yes. If it hits this side first, it's dead. It's dead. Well, maybe we'll have to try that when we finish this. Although, it might just mean the topper will pop off. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll see. But anyway, this is the, I believe this was the 2020 uh, release. release of this Old Fitz from Heaven Hill Distillery. Uh, Old Fitz uses the mash bill, the wheated mash bill, uh, like Larceny. Um, the, they also have an 80 proof version. We got behind Dylan's head there. You can't see it, but they have an 80 proof version of it that you can buy if you live in, in or around Kentucky. It's not really available in any other States. Uh, but I picked up a couple bottles last time I was in Kentucky. It sits on the shelves for like, it's not bucks. available on my shelf anymore. You finished it. Yeah. If you listen to our podcast. A bottle kill on our podcast yeah. and all the major podcast platforms out there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, guys, if you like bourbon shirts, pick up a bourbon shirt. From our, our t-shirt shore. T-shirt shore. T-shirt shore. T-shirt shore. shore. T- t- wow. I'm going to have to reset here. T-shirt store. That was not hard to say. At the shore. All right, guys. I'm going to get us poured. Uh, 100 proof. Weeder. Um, old fits. Now, they did do a distillery only release of this four, of, of a 14-year-old just like this. Except it has the red label like this one. Oh. And if you're a member of Curiosity Private, we're going to do a little head-to-head between the distillery only... And the mass market release one. Not mass market, but market release. And that's going to be for members only. And uh, join. If you're thinking about joining, hit that join button. It does help our channel out. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to use my pour spout because Cause we're cool we got like a that. cool pour we're spout. Cool like that. And I don't want to spill. Oh, it's kind of oh, loose. Kind of loose. Uh-oh. Let's see if it works. <laughs> uh, all right, Dylan, you got any info for us? Yeah, so every spring and fall, there's a new Old Fitz release. Um, by Heaven Hill. Uh, the Just kind of a, a little bit of history. The Old Fitz brand was once owned by Pappy Van Winkle, um, but purchased by Heaven Hill uh, in 1999. And um, this is a national release, this one, like uh, Dutch said. And um, it is a mash bill of 68 corn, 20 wheat, and 12 malted Ooh, barley. I like the heft. So. Hmm. Good heft, huh? Yeah. Actual real cork. Yeah. Not, not, not that's a good synthetic. thing. Not right? synthetic. Right. All right, guys. Well, let's get tasting. Let's get smelling. Let's get scoring. And on three, mm-hmm. let's talk our, let's name our favorite Sylvester Stallone movie. One, two, three. Rocky. Stop Rocky. Or, or my mom will shoot. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan's getting sloppy, guys. Exactly. But it's, it's Rocky Four. Rocky. Stop or my mom won't shoot. <laughs> I have seen that. <laughs> I actually ha- still haven't seen that. I think he did that because he realized that Schwarzenegger could do comedy. And he tried to do comedy. What did Schwarzenegger release before that? That's comedy. Junior? Conan? <laughs> <laughs> was it... Um, Pumping Iron? Junior, Junior. Twins. <laughs> twins. Uh, kindergarten uh, Cop. Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kindergarten Cop. Did you guys say Kindergarten or Kindergarten? I, he's, he's been doing comedy the entire time. Commando, uh, Predator. I mean, I laugh the entire time. Conan. 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 
Especially the commentary for Conan. Totally. That's the, did. That's the, the greatest best thing commentary. In the world. Pumping iron. That's a really good commentary, too. Oh, we should mention price point on this. Um, I was able to get yeah, this in a uh, a lottery. So um, it was a big chain liquor store, and they had a bunch of rare release stuff, and they did a big lottery. This wasn't what I put at the top of my list, but it's what I got the option to buy and um, paid MSRP for it. So it was like 110 I think, roughly. Mm. So it's not really MSRP, but yeah. yeah. I'll pop the actual score, I, <clears throat> the price I paid up there. I, I it on the top of my head. Dylan, what did you get in that same lottery? Uh, I think I got the uh, nothing. <laughs> the nothing. And the lottery before that? All I got was a letter then saying, sorry, you didn't get anything. And the one I'm like, really? The lottery before that, didn't you get uh, Blanton's? I got the Blanton's. <laughs> not not a, like a barrel pick. It's just a regular Blanton's. So. But you know what? I got to be grateful for what I have, right? So. <laughs> yeah, you do. See, he's not even asking me, folks, because I didn't even get invited. <laughs> <laughs> And I should point out, just Googling Old Fitz um, 14, it looks like the cheapest you can really buy it online is going to be about five to seven to eight hundred dollars, depending on where you get it. Hmm. What? Yeah. Let's give our initial scores. Jules, you want to tell everybody our scoring system Absolutely. first? Absolutely. It's a hundred point grading system across 10 categories that we give uh, 10 points to each category that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. However, for flavor, we uh, weigh it at 20 points, and aesthetics and value at 5 points each. And you can medal in our uh, competition if you score 60 and above, from bronze, silver, gold, to the elusive diamond. All right, guys, initial score time. I want to talk this one through, but I ended up at a 75. 72. I give it a 69. Wow. I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting that either. Um... Let's kick it off, guys, with aroma. Arguably the best aspect of this for me. I gave it an eight. I liked the nose on this. Eight. Same. Wow. I would have cheers, you, but I right at the last minute, I brought it down to a seven. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason for this is because while I, it, it, again, it started off with the grape, the grape skin, for sure. Mm -hmm. But when I went to try to identify the fruits, the ethanol hit just really kept... Uh, you know, interfering with my nosing. Mm -hmm. And and it's very strange because this is not a super high proof liquor. And yet to do that, that means that some of that some of that flavor, some of that aroma has been suppressed. And that that's why I had to bring the score down a bit. It's very pleasant. It gets the sweetness. There's nondescript sweetness and things like that that's in there. And I, I would say, I would argue even um, there's a little bit of that flower, and that's why it's not a five. It's not a six. It I, does go up to I enjoy seven. this. I got a clear honey mm. on this. I got maybe the tiniest touch of the frunk. Bing. Um, but I liked the nose, actually. So, and it, But it wasn't super strong. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's what kept me at an eight. So. Me too. I enjoyed the nose. Um, actually, I wrote down, it's like I walked through a tangy citrus grass. Sounds like fun. Tangy citrus grass. Oh, yes. On that note. So like lemongrass? Yeah. He's in a Thai restaurant. Right. Let's move on to flavor, guys. Um, the key descriptor I wrote down was messy. Mm -hmm. I was going to actually bring this down, and then I tasted it again right at the end of the tasting, and I was like, you know what? No, it's, it's mellowed out. It's cleaned up a little bit, so I left it at a 17. 16. Everything that you said, Dutch, I would agree with, and that is the reason I gave it a 15. Um, I think, I think messy. I can't really use in this category because I think that goes to the balance. Definitely frunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for definitely sure. Definitely frunk. For sure, and it is something that's um, I would say disappointing because at a fourteen-year uh, weeder, I expected more. You know, too. you, you yeah. want you want to get to that twelve-year, uh, pick out the honey barrels, and then age it to fourteen, fifteen, and get that rich mm. flavors that you would expect in that well-aged bourbon, boy, um, it's not bad, but it's it's definitely mm. not... Um, it's, weird. it's weird. Not as... I'm getting a little weird. bit of like a sourness. There's there's a, yeah. I'm going to go down. Sour. Tannic. I'm going to go down to Because I literally wrote a tangy, tangy sour nuts. It's, yeah. But the thing is, I, I will point this out. It's like I had a couple of sips in there that I thought were a lot better. Yeah. It's inconsistent. Yes. Which is... Yes. That doesn't really fit anywhere, but I will yeah. dock a point on flavor. I'm going down to a 16 for sure. Yeah. Um, very... Weird. Um, uh, Larceny barrel proof? Better, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
So, yeah. okay, more memorable. let's move on to body. I, I kind of felt like I had to pick a number out of a hat with this. Mm. It was a little nondescript. I ended up at a seven. It's not bad. It's not great. Yeah. It's it's a better than average, but seven. seven. Yeah, we exact same reasons. It's it's better than it's above average. Yeah, I mean it wasn't it's a not five. Thin. It's not. Thin. It was better than a six, but nice, it wasn't an like eight a or nice nine. Nice oil yeah. coating. It's yeah, it, it's, overwhelming. It was found wanting it's not the, dry. the uh, yeah. mouthfeel. Great sure. complexity. Um, I actually think I scored complexity kind of high because I I docked everything really on balance. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here. I come back to that thing of messy. They're they're completely in the wrong proportions, but there's still a lot going on here, and that's why I ended up at an eight. Mm, I gave this a six on complexity. Um, on complexity, wow. mm. uh, because I think a lot of it, um, I just it, because it was so mixed, <laughs> you know, at different levels. Like I didn't know what was going on. Exactly. That's balance. That's yeah, why the balance is, is bad, but the complexity balanced. I think is high. Yeah, and, and, I, and I think I think switch. I have to swap my scores because I, I realize. No, I'm wait, wait, wait. Let through. me let me defend yours but, a little bit. Uh, it, it just also it, I felt one. It felt like it, there were times where it's just one dimensional. No, but look so, at his look at his balance score. Right. You should switch his. I complexity should switch it from that reasoning. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think the balance is really high for you. Oh, yeah. um, I, I That's agree. Why you should switch them. So yeah, yeah. so complexity, I, I gave it a seven, but it's a it's a very soft seven. And the reason why is this: I I get you in that. It's trying to pro provide a lot of flavors, but I also understand you <laughs> in that there's a blanket over yeah, it, yeah. and therefore I agree. The, yeah. it, it just it's not even it's, about like covering it; it no. completely washes, washes it out. It out. Yeah. And so, so it's like it disappears. So, so it's like imagine if you had like nine flavors yeah. to start with, and then because one of them is just like just washing it out. The nine suddenly becomes a five, yeah. right? So you lose the four, yeah. and then you're just like, I can't identify it anymore. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what's going on. Which I get, and, we and could so, attribute to balance, because you know, of yeah. that, but an eight's a little bit too high for yeah. this. Yeah, this is this seven. is not that complex, it's and that's seven. because of yeah. I think part of that balance problem as well. I think you're right. Seven for me. Uh, okay, now moving on to balance, I gave this a six. I'm almost tempted to go to a five, but I. You guys go. I give it a six. What did you guys give it? <laughs> it's funny because, like, as we're talking through it, like, because I did do my swap, but now I think I want to bring out, down the balance yeah, because too. it's not really balanced. In fact, I think I might go to a four. What'd you give it, Dylan? I gave I it a six really too, but you're right. It's a I mean, five. talking it's about under, this, it's, it's, under, it, 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 it's, it's a, under average. No, I think it's average. I think it's a five. I think it's an average. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's, what, it's, it's what you would get in a kind of an average release. Yeah. Average. It's messy? Yeah. But the thing is, it doesn't accentuate anything that's like, I don't want to drink this anymore. It's that's just true. messy. It's not It's messy. It's not, it's not it's just yeah. Messy, it's somewhat, yeah, somewhat, right. okay. um, somewhat saved by the age. Somewhat. But it's still messy, and therefore yeah. I'm gonna give it a. Five. No, you guys are right. Yeah. So we all ended up at a five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, look at that. We ended up agreeing yeah, despite maybe. the fact that some of us had to change our scores. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. Finish. Um, I am kind of left with not a bad bourbon flavor in my mouth. Ultimately, I ended up at seven. I give it a six. I give it a seven. Yeah. I give it a seven. I, the finish is surprisingly good, actually. It's not and bad. It, it's, it, kind of, it's, it's not bad. It's kind of weak. I don't know. I kind of liked it. Okay. Okay, guys. For me, it, it just it felt really short. It's a it's a weeder finish. It's a weeder finish. Yeah. But a, a funky so not, a funky funky. But you earthy. know what? You can't go higher than a seven because yeah, it's disappointing not. when you think about that. This is a fourteen year. And that's one hundred and sixty bucks. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right. I agree. Yeah. Moving on to uniqueness. Um, full disclosure: I gave this an additional two points for the bottle. I gave it an eight. Six. I gave it an eight. I gave it an eight. Uh, it's a 14 year old weeder. It's a 100 proof bottled and bottom weeder, and this is the most beautiful bottle on the market. It's yeah, an eight. And I just wish the juice inside was as good. But just no. for the bottle, I, ga I gave it two I mean, points yeah, for the I'm bottle. Giving it, yeah, me too. No. You're giving it two, <laughs> two points for the bottle because I wouldn't I didn't give want a two better points juice. for the bottle. I wouldn't give two points for the Well, two for the points bottle. for the for bottle and the points. fact that it's 14 year old weeder and the right. fact that it's a so bottle. So that's the four bottle. points. I think, the two flavor, points I think the flavor is a six. I think it would have been a seven or an eight, like, you know, 15 years ago. Um, I think it's a There's six so right now. I think the bottle is a price. seven. Yeah. I think the bottle is a seven. I think this specific release of a 14 year versus the nine or the 12, 12. or whatever, the younger 11, um, it is it is unique in that it is on the older spectrum. And therefore, I gave it an extra point for that. And that, that I gave think, it. I, it agree. Yeah. I think Jules is a little bit, I mean, uniqueness, man. This is your category. Look I at this bottle. Look how unique it is. The juice isn't bad. It's fine. <sighs> but it's just, you wanted more. Yeah, but the I'm bottle. I'm getting a lot for the bottle, guys. Seriously. 
But this you know, juice this is not below wait, average wait, wait, wait. juice. But that's aesthetics, though. If you're going purely on right. the bottle, yeah, right. That's why I'm not going purely on the it bottle. It bleeds over. It bleeds over. That's why I did give it a high marks on aesthetics. I'm, I'm comfortable with my eight. Uniqueness: a 14 year old weeder. Yeah, 14 year old weeder. Who else that's does a 14 year old weeder besides it's a, it's a Taffy? It doesn't aged taste weeder. Awesome. Doesn't matter. Who else? You would think uniqueness. it would sell itself from that. Uniqueness of the offering. I don't know. This is an extremely unique Sorry. offering. If if Sorry. it tasted like garbage, it would still be unique. I agree. Because there's not much garbage, you know. Is not pleasurable. That doesn't. That, that doesn't factor that's in not here. A factor. You're, you're bleeding Ugh. over categories. You're that's wrong a, that's on not this a one. factor. Mm. You got to increase that, man. I agree. No. What you said out that's of your mm. mouth is is not compatible with that score. It does not compete. That's how I always speak. <laughs> None of it makes sense. No. You're gonna stay. Uh. Hmm. Burning debating. tape. Ba debating. We can move on. Okay. Drinkability. Uh. I put. I wrote down a seven. I give it an eight. I give it a six. Because it's drinkable, nothing's off putting. This goes this goes into the secondary or tertiary bar. Because that's where No, like, it goes on the main bar because of the bottle. Yeah. This no, is always gonna not, be on not, the main not bar. Not in my house. Yeah. The, the, not in my house. Just like the, the number, on the side. Because <laughs> you know the, the old Fitz nine that I got a long time ago? I, I haven't touched it in years. Yeah. In years. Um, I I mean mm. if if somebody offered this to me. I'd say, yeah, mm. sure, no problem. That's why I gave it a six. It's yeah. not a four. It's a six. Mm -hmm. But boy, I, I, again, it's been years since I touched the nine, the 11. I ended up, I, I when, came down When six. did you try the, the distiller's 14? When was the last time? Six. Six, okay. I actually ended up swapping my uniqueness with drinkability. <laughs> it's like a Jenga it's game all, all for swaps jewels right here. Now. Okay, guys, let's move on to aesthetics. The easiest category... For me, I, easy five. It's an easy five. This is the I most beautiful bottle. Four. What's a more beautiful bottle on the market? <sighs> no, you're right. This is a five. There is no this way. This is as good as it gets. I mean, this is as good as a bourbon top. bottle gets. Yeah. No, come on. Look at this. Look at the design. Uh, look at the throwback label. Look at the nice. glass. It's beautiful. Okay. It's a beautiful decanter. I will decanter. reuse this decanter. Yeah. This yeah. one, I'm never throwing this away. Strip the label yeah. off. Unless I throw I, it off a bottle. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, balcony. I'm, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to boil the, <laughs> the the labels off. Yeah. And, and reuse it. Yeah. yeah. You want to do a five? Wash. I didn't go to a five. Okay. All right, guys. Value. I'm factoring in those secondary prices a bit here. It's a two. Yeah, two. I gave it a one. I gave it a one. And I'm tempted to go to a I'm one. Tempted I even to go scratched to this and, two. And the so. reason why I gave it a one is purely from the aesthetic standpoint. Um, and just maybe like mm. a slight bump for a leader. I'm almost tempted to go to Specifically zero. because it's a 14 year. But aside from that, it's way too expensive. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going back to it. This is not a bargain by any means. Well, and the secondary market prices for this is absolutely secondary is crazy. Idiotic. I paid 160. I paid 100 dollars for the bottle, and even at 60 bucks, this juice no should be more like 40 dollar, 50 dollar yeah. juice. No, I, I, I take that money and go to a and go to a, like a mm. artisan and hand blow yeah. my own decanter. Okay, I go to a one. This is insane. You went to a one. Yeah. So we're all at a one. All right, well, let's get our final tallies, guys. I got to recalculate my score. Me too. My brain calculation was exactly right. Okay, I ended up at a 70. 69. 68. Which gives us our official Curiosity Public score for old Fitzgerald 14-year-old bottled and bond, the non-distillery only release, the general release from 2020. It's a bronze 69. Wow. Jules is still held. Favorite number. True. Um, still held. <clears throat> that makes sense to me. It's, it's kind of it's disappointing. It's disappointing. For this bottle, this hype, should be better. For you the know, height. It should be better. And the beautiful presentation. I don't know what it is about this stuff. It's, it's never tasted great to me. I don't get it. It's not, it's not. I don't get it. I guess I just I'm not aligned with the community. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this has been a fun episode. We're going to do a head-to-head -head in a minute yes. that will be for members only, comparing the distillery-only 14-year-old from a couple years back to the, the new one. Uh, if you guys want to see that again, consider becoming a member of Curiosity Private. Jules, please take us out. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up. If you like this episode, subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Ring that bell icon for notifications when new uploads, like Dutch mentioned. If you want to help the channel out, consider joining Curiosity Private membership program on YouTube. We do have a podcast. Check out our podcast on all the major 
podcast platforms out there. And as always, stay safe. T shirts. Oh, t shirts. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Couldn't have been You're only, I know. <laughs> t shirts in the link description below. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay curious. So many things.